Hello and welcome to another gear motor tips video from Bodie and Electric Company. Today we will show you how to install one of our optional terminal box kits and explain why you would want to use one. Our stock motors are typically rated IP20 to IP40. If you would like to increase the ingress protection rating on our gear motors or motors to IP44, you can install our optional terminal box kits. If you are using an AC single phase permanent split capacitor, PSC gear motor or motor, and if you would like to mount the run capacitor inside an enclosure or to connect to a power cord, then our terminal box kits 984, 985, and 986 are great options. For this video, we are installing our model 984 T-Box kit on a 34R5R gear motor. Our AC gear motors and motors ship within a factory installed bushing at the lead exit. In order to install the terminal box onto a type 42R or 48R gear motor, this bushing must be removed. Unscrew and remove the plastic bushing from the gear motor's lead exit hole and discard it. The factory installed bushing does not have to be removed when installing a terminal box onto our type 30R or 34R products. Next, adhere the foam gasket to the outside face of the terminal box with the pre-cut gasket holes aligned with the terminal box holes. Then, pull the motor leads through the opening in the bottom of the terminal box. Attach the terminal box to the gear motor using the supplied mounting screws and pre-drilled mounting holes. For details, download our mounting instructions for Bodine Type 34R, 42R, and 48R AC gear motors and motors. Literature number 0740067E. The run capacitor for this PSC gear motor fits inside the terminal box, as do most of our standard stock capacitors. Secure the run capacitor inside the terminal box. If the run capacitor does not fit inside the terminal box, it can also be mounted to the outside of the motor or to any other secure and appropriate surface near the motor. Wiring a gear motor or motor should only be done by a certified electrician or technician. Please make sure to comply with all applicable regional and national electrical codes and standards for installation and operation of electric motors. Make all connections per the wiring diagram that is supplied with the motor. For this demonstration, we also installed a power cord and strain relief PG fitting at the cord exit to meet IP44. To complete our terminal box installation, follow our user instructions 0740067E and fasten the terminal box cover and gasket onto the terminal box with the four provided screws. We hope you found our Gear Motor Tips video useful. For additional information on our products or to contact us, please visit bodine-electric.com. Thanks for watching.